Okay. I thought I answered that by saying nothing in the parliamentary process is affected by this. I think that... The, the voice is a voice outside of the parliament into the parliament. It's not part of the parliamentary process. So our democracy, the core of our democracy is unaffected by um, the insertion of a voice. But the answer about the question, this, I have two answers to that. One, there is a special category of law that Parliament is responsible for and has been conferred by the Constitution that only applies to Indigenous people. And that is Section 5126, the race power. The race power is a provision that only applies to our people. It doesn't affect you, it doesn't affect anybody else. And so in the exercise of that power, our position is that shouldn't it be entirely reasonable that when you only, when you only exercise a power with respect to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, should you not talk to them about it or listen to their views about it? So 5126 is a one reason why um, the, the, the need for the parliament to hear the views of indigenous people is very plain. Because, because it's the race power and race is an outdated concept or should be, there is, there is every susceptibility that a law generated under a race power could be racially discriminatory. And for that reason, um, for that reason, receiving the voices of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people whenever Parliament is contemplating a law, exercising a, a law under that provision, um, is justified in my view. Claire. One basic other reason in answer to the moral... What were your words, sorry? The moral absolute. Moral, moral absolute. Let me talk about another moral absolute. <laughs> the preambular words to this provision read this. In recognition of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples as the first peoples of Australia. We're doing this to recognise another moral absolute, to borrow his terminology. And that is a kind of simple fact that we were the first peoples of Australia. You reckon we could do this? You reckon we could recognise that before 26 January 1788 there were a people in this country? And those are the words in recognition as the first peoples of Australia. The profundity of what we will do in terms of recognition and the importance of it, I think that is the moral profundity. Please join me in thanking Noel Pearson and ask Michelle to come to the stage.